Okay, hello everyone. Um, um, today I, I am running a very short video about the use of the Xilin Power Factory for uh, a very interesting function. Okay. Um, today, what I would like to do is go across this uh, very interesting calculation function that is called quasi dynamic simulation. Okay. What's the dynamic simulation? It's been for a while inside Power Factory, and many people they don't understand what is the important, uh, the importance of this uh, uh, very useful function. Okay, what I will do is something very simple. I will run this example because few of my students they are, they are using this uh, this quasi dynamic uh, um, function and and they must be familiar how to use it, okay? What I will tell you is the following. The idea of the quasi-dynamic simulation is, um, is calculating the steady state, the steady state of the electrical power system, but considering time, time dependence, okay? Um, it's quite typical that if you are working at distribution systems, uh, you have loads and those loads are are changing over the time, okay? And we use load profiles to describe that behavior, okay? Um, let me show you something here. For instance, for, if, for instance, if you look here at this, uh, if you look over here to this Excel file, you can see that there, is, there are three load profiles over there, okay? As you can see on the horizontal axis, you can see 24 hours and on the vertical axis you can see the load okay in this case we are using percentages and in this case the percentages are referred to the maximum load at that very specific place okay we have three loads over there you can see in three different colors you can see gray you can see blue and you can see also amber or orange depending on where are you coming from, okay? Okay, what is the idea? If the load is changing over the time, I would like to see how the performance of my network is changing. When I say performance, I need to say some indicators. Uh, indicators that they may allow, uh, they allow me to um, define the performance of the system. For instance, you can be interested on how the um, active power losses, they are changing over the time, or some people probably they are interested on the voltage profile inside your network, or another people can be interested just on the current that is moving through a conductor, okay? What I will teach you today is how to uh, perform a very simple, a very simple quasi-dynamic calculation, okay? And uh, coming back uh, here, we are using one of my classic test system. Um, I create this test system probably in 2002, 2001. I don't remember many years ago. Okay, this is not a real system. Okay, this is not a real system, and this system have. Um, for different loads, if you run the load flow here, we are running the classical AC load flow. If you run the classical AC load flow, you will realize that in this classical um, radial system, you can see how the voltage, they are going down from 1.05 uh, 1 at the sewer station, going to 0 0.97. And you can see here at the tail of this feeder, the voltage is really, really bad. We are talking about 0 0.82. The load flow will give you the steady state of this network, okay? What I want to do now is I would like to run, I would like to run the uh, quasi-dynamic simulation to see the performance of this interesting uh, distribution system. But when we consider, when we consider the variability of the load following those pattern, those load profiles that I am showing you, okay? The first step that you need to do is you need to create 
time characteristic for those loads, okay? In this case, what I will do is something ba uh, something simple. I will put a characteristic here in load 4, one in load uh, 2, and one in load 1, okay? Let's do the following. Uh, double click at the load, then I will go to load flow, and here you can see that in this case, if we run the load flow, the power demand over there is one megawatts, okay? But right now I will use right button, right button, and I will define a new time characteristic, okay? What I will do is add a new characteristic. However, they are not characteristic over there because I didn't define any time characteristic. I will create a new one using here the new object button at, the, at this window. And then they will ask me and I will say this is the time characteristic of load one. Okay, load one. Okay, then what I will say is that I would like to create the daily profile and using hours that means 24 hours okay and here i can select if i would like to use just absolute values or if i want to use percentages and in this case i will use percentages because my data is coming in percentages okay i will go to the excel file where i have the data i will take here the data copy then go to power factory very simple going to the top paste oh jesus yes right now we have here we have here the proper variation of this load okay and let's see how is the profile here we are looking the profile remember we are considering that the load is constant during 24 hours okay there is no linear approximation there is nothing like that okay and what I will do now, let's go to load number two. Right now you can see the color change because right now we have a characteristic that is assigned to that load, okay? Okay, let's go to load number two. Load number two, define, uh, sorry, double click. And then here define a time characteristic. I will create a new time characteristic. This will be the load two, load two. Then I will say that I would like to use uh, hours and then I need to go to my Excel file. From the Excel file, I will copy the percentages of this load, copy the percentages and then going back here, paste now we can see this is the load variation for this one the load two and now again the active power change the color over there the background color change to something like purple or pink i don't know but here we have uh, we added the time characteristic of load two okay to keep to keep the same names i will do with the load number three okay Load number three, right button, uh, time characteristic. Now I will create a new time characteristic and I will say this time characteristic is in hour. And then what I need to do is going back to that cell file, copy the percentages, copy the percentages. And there what I need to do is, okay, let me paste Again, paste, and we have here the characteristic of this load, okay? Okay, good. Uh, I forgot to change the name. Um, this is the load characteristic for, time characteristic for load three, okay? I try to be organized with my project, okay? Okay, what is the job now? The job now is that I can use this button over there and this button over there is the button that opened the possibility of running a quasi-dynamic simulation, okay? 
Okay, what we need to do is just um, saying here, uh, okay, the day today, yes. And we are running a, a quasi dynamic simulation, um, a complete day, 24 hours using a silhouette flow, and we will use the uh, unit hour, okay? Um, let me do it again in order that you can see here the result at the output window. Uh, what I need that you see here at the output window is that Power Factory is telling me that we have run the simulation, okay, for 24 hours, uh, quasi dynamic simulation for 24 hours. And over here, um, we successfully conclude the simulation of the quasi dynamic, okay. Now, let me go back. Um, one of the things that you realize is that Power Factory is not showing over there. It's just showing maximum and minimum value for the voltage, for instance. Um, when you run when you run a quasi-dynamic simulation, uh, you are getting 24 points per each variable, okay? Uh, for instance, if you are interested in the voltage at the push bar number two, you will get 24, 24 points that represent voltages per each hour, okay? Power Factory, by default, is showing you over there what is the maximum and minimum voltage during the period, during the 24-hour period that we run the simulation, okay? Power Factory is considering the uh, changes at the load during the 24 hours, calculating the 24 uh, load flows and presenting over, uh, over there, what is presenting over there is just the plot uh, of the, sorry, the values of the maximum and minimum voltage, okay? From the, from the, um, from the simulation point of view, um, um, you are creating a time series. I mean, you are creating 24 values for voltage, for instance, or in this case, uh, what I want to check here is the active power losses in this system, okay? Um, it's something that has some similarities when you are using, uh, when you are using RMS simulation, okay? When you are using RMS simulations, the, the output of the simulation is a set, a time series that have um, the points of the variable that you are solving, okay? Okay, what I will do now is I want to show you some numerical results, okay? Some numerical results, but in this case, because we have 24 points, I need to create a graphical representation to show you the result, okay? What I will do is the following, okay? I will go to this button over there, and that is for the result variables, okay? You click over there, and now what I want to see, what I want to open is the uh, numerical results of the AC balance load flow, okay? Over there, you will see that Power Factory already defines some numerical, some uh, objects, result objects, and one of them is here, and that is the grid, okay? Um, if I double click here, you can see the classical, uh, the classical um, window showing you the variables that you want to keep track or to monitor during the simulation, okay? In this case, I would like to show you, let me find here where is, okay, here you can see the active power losses in megawatts, okay? I will pass here to the right hand side and you can see at the very end that at the right hand side you have over there the active power losses okay okay because i am using a new variable i need to rerun again the quasi dynamic simulation i rerun the quasi dynamic simulation now all the numerical result for the 24 hours they are stored in that variable okay what is the next step? Well, I need a graphical representation. And what I will do is I will use this button over there that say create a curve plot. And I will say this plot is um, um, a quasi dynamic plot. Okay. Now Power Factory is asking me, okay, tell me what is the element that you want, want to, to plot. I will say that I am interested on the object grid. 
and the variable that I would like to show you is the losses in megawatts, okay? Now we have here a new plot, and as you can see, let me use here those buttons to zoom in. Now what you can see over there is the plot that corresponds to the active power losses at this network okay if you would like to to assess this you can see over here this is around let's see this is the this is the maximum is 0 0.09 megawatts okay and that is happening at ah now we have a problem because the scale is presented in seconds okay uh, what I will do now is you already have the plot with the numerical values for the 24 hours, okay? What I will do now is improving the presentation and customizing the plot, okay? Something very, very fast. Double click over here. And the first step is that we want to show, let me use a bigger, uh, uh, a blue color also. I prefer blue color, okay? Black is even better, but for the screen, this one is good enough, okay? And let's go here to advance and uh, draw the steps, okay? Right now we have the plot. Now the plot is presented in the form of steps, okay? And then what you can see over here is the horizontal axis is still in seconds. We need to change that. And what we need to do is double click on the plot, going to the X axis, okay? and we need to see what is happening with the scale okay what i want to do is modify this and make the local scale uh using what i want to use okay and in this case i will use um year month and and day and hours okay now what you can see over here is in blue color in blue color we have the representation for the losses okay as you can see over there we have the losses minimum losses located here let's see what is the minimum losses minimum losses i'm sorry i am trying to pick up here yes minimum losses is around 0 0.065 megawatts and maximum and that is happening at 7 a.m okay in this system losses are minimum in this case at 7 a.m and now let's go and see what is the maximum power losses power losses of 0 0.090 megawatts and that is happening at 1600 hours or 4 p.m okay um Okay, from here, you can start to make plots about voltage, current, load, whatever, but the procedure is similar. What you need to create is a new plot, define the variable that you would like to plot, and then modify the axis and show your results. Okay, thank you very much for watching this short video. I hope that you enjoy the use of this very important functionality. And before I close, I would like to tell you, okay, a lot of people believe that quasi-dynamic simulation is just 24 hours running the uh, load flow, okay? And that is not totally true. When you are, what you are running over there is 25, uh, 24 initial conditions. Because when you are running quasi-dynamic simulation, also the states of any dynamic system is calculated. Um, I will create another video making a clarification about this, but this is all for this moment. Thank you very much for watching the video.